Lillian Turam was one of the best defenders in the world during the 1990s and 2000s. His fitness, placement, anticipation and ability to win one-on-one -on -one confrontations made him a formidable player throughout his career. From Monaco to Barcelona, through Parma, Juve and Le Blues, the Frenchman has bagged up almost everything and has left a mark wherever he has gone. Born on January 1st, 1972 in Pointe Pita, Lillian Turam grew up in Guadeloupe and joined his mother in the Paris region at the age of nine. There, during his teenage years, he played for several clubs, starting out as a right back. His size, his defensive skills, his heading game and his percussion on the ball were of interest to some of the major French clubs, including Rennes, Nice and Monaco. In 1989, Turam finally settled on the rock. Integrated into Monagas Training Center, the young Lillian made his professional debut one evening in May 1991. Nevertheless, it was not until the 1992-93 season that he became a permanent fixture in the team's 11. Better still, as one of the best right-backs in the French league. High-flying performances that will open the way to the French national team. But we'll come back to this later. After six seasons in the Principality, Turam, coveted by the biggest European teams, chose to go abroad with Parma. We are then in 1996. He soon became an important member of the Italian team and one of the most respected fullbacks in Calcio. Repositioned in the center of the park during the 97-98 season by his coach at the time, a certain Carlo Ancelotti, he formed with Fabio Canavero and Gigi Buffon one of the most formidable defenses in Serie A. However, it doesn't really matter. With Gialoblo, Turam won several individual and collective titles. One Italian Cup, one Super Cup, one UEFA Cup, an honorary title of best foreign player and best defender in Serie A will add to his trophy cabinet. He joined Juventus in 2001 for 36.6 million euros. It was a record transfer as he was the most expensive French player in history at that time. In Turin, Turam changes his dimensions along with his compatriot Trezeguet and establishes himself as one of the best central defenders in the world. Invaluable, the number 21 more than shows his worth for the transfer price. The Tafosi still remember the August 2002 match for the Luigi Bosconi trophy. It was a match in which Lillian Turam single-handedly muzzled the Shevchenko Inzaghi duo. He will logically be voted man of the match. The Gazzetta del Sport even dared to make a comparison with Zidane. He is the Zidane of the backline, and not just because he's French. Class, personality, and grit, he's the best, wrote the journalist with the pink paper. A few months later, on a November evening in 2002, he scored the last goal of his career against AC Milan. In short, five years and two Scudetti later, Turan flew to Spain in the wake of the Calciopoli scandal. He played two seasons with FC Barcelona, two complicated seasons in Catalonia for the number 21 where he played only 58 games. This was due to increased competition in central defense as well as recurrent injuries. With no extension, he left Barca in 2008. In an attempt to give new impetus to his career, Turan was close to signing a season-long contract with PSG. In the end, the transfer did not come through. He was diagnosed with a heart condition. A few weeks later, he announced the end of his professional career. In his 19-year career, Turan left his mark on football through his style and personality and is considered one of the greatest defenders of his generation. His career in blue is just as brilliant as the one he had in his club career, a 14-year love story that began one evening in August 1994 against the Czech Republic, at the same time as a certain Zinedine Zidane. Little by little, Turan became an important part of the French team. He failed to stop a Croatian goal in the semi-final of the 1998 World Cup, but he made up for it by scoring two goals in quick succession to send France to the final of the tournament. The rest is history. He lifted the World Cup and finished in the top team of the competition. Two years later, he was a key member of the European champion French team. The years that followed were more complicated as Turam experienced several disappointments with the Blues. Disenchanted, he retired from international football for the first time. He will finally return to the pitch wearing the French jersey once again. 
His sights were set on the 2006 World Cup, a competition during which he showcased his talent as one of the best defenders in the world despite his advanced age. It's simple. Taram crushes the strikers who come up against him one after the other. He won 75 duels out of 83 during the competition. Two years later, he would put an end to his international career after a disappointing Euro 2008. With 142 caps, Lillian Taram is one of the most capped French players in the history of the Blues. Lillian Taram has also fought other battles since the beginning of his career. Although his career did not end as he had hoped, he is a player who has left a mark through his fighting spirit and determination. Off the field, Taram was already involved in anti-racism and the cause for minorities. Since the end of his career, he's been involved in battles against homophobia for diversity and equal opportunities. What do you remember about Lillian Taran? Tell us what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't hesitate to talk about our channel around you to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you soon for a new video. Ciao!